Welcome back, everyone. As our country continues to listen to the voices speaking out against racism, we want to continue to offer you resources to help all of us learn. We're listening, we're learning, and hopefully we're coming together to find solutions. Kara's here with a few of those things and things to care about. And Kara, for the sake of time and, of course, the delay, I want you to list them all, and I will take notes and comment after, because I know this is so important. I want to get to them all. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Um, these films and documentaries are all about racism in America, but this is just a start. So we wanted to give you kind of a, a launching pad for you to start if you're looking for ways, you're looking for suggestions on what to read, what to listen to. Um, we want to start Good. the conversation here. And if you've been listening, now it's time to read, watch, learn, and take action. And here are some helpful ways to do that. So let's get started with the first one. The first one is Ava DuVernay. Is Selma. Um, maybe you remember this movie from a few years back, but if you haven't seen it, please yes. watch. It's Ava DuVernay's movie. I said um, it depicts Dr. King's march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. It helped propel the Voting Rights Act of 1965 into law. Our own Georgia's own living legend, John Lewis, Representative um, John Lewis, was there. It was nominated for Best Picture for an Academy Award. Sidebar, Boyhood won, um, but it did win for Best Original Song by Glory by John Legend in common. Um, it's also been made free to stream on several platforms for the month of June. And some of these that we're highlighting are being made to see free so people can watch them. Um, very cool that they're doing that. So check out Selma. That's first on your list. Next is Just Mercy. I actually haven't seen this film and I can't wait to watch it. It's Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx. Oh, they depict yes. the real life story of lawyer Brian Stevenson. Um, he successfully appealed a wrongful 1988 murder conviction of Walter McMillan, a black man who was wrongly accused of murder and sentenced to death row prior to his trial. Uh, Warner Brothers has also made this film available to stream this month. I've heard excellent things about this. Um, watch this. And then also, it's important too, I think, to read the stories and to read the voices that um, helped not make this uh, a reality, because we can watch it obviously, but that went through it, the voices that went through this and, and feel it that way. Um, the next yes. one is The Hate You Give. I read this book. I love this author. She's yeah. unbelievable. Angie Thomas. She wrote this in 2017. Um, it's one of those um, movies that kind of holds up to the writing of the book, too. Um, it's a young adult novel. It takes on the theme of Black Lives Matter. Um, it's about police identity, police brutality. It's about black identity. Um, it puts it through the thought-provoking story of a black girl growing up in an inner black city community and going to a white school across town. Um, it's such a good read. It's such a good story. I also want to give a shout out to the main actress in this movie, Amanda Stenberg. She's such a talent. Watch her. She's only 21 years old. She's in a lot of things that you may have seen. I was recently um, listening to an interview with Issa Rae and Issa Rae was saying there's this pivotal scene in the movie where she gets up on this car during a protest and it will bring chills to you. It is an amazing performance by an amazing actress. Keep your eye on her. She's definitely one to watch. Um, all right, let's keep it moving. Yeah. Another film by Ava DuVernay. 13th. This is a documentary. Um, it shows activists, politicians, formerly, formerly incarcerated and they're analyzing the criminalization of black Americans. It fo focuses on injustice. It focuses on mass incarceration in the U.S. Um, the title itself is referring to the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, which formally abolished slavery in 1865. I, I think it's so important that we have to realize what is systemic in the society and break that down to a granular level so you can advocate for your brothers and sisters of color of what is going on and what we can do to to enact change. Okay, the next one, When They See Us, a gut-wrenching Netflix miniseries that tells the story of the wrongful conviction of five black and Latino teenagers. This was dubbed the Central Park Five. If you do not know about this, read right. about this. It was in 1989. It was an assault of a female jogger in Central Park. All five were exonerated in 2002 um, when serial rapist Mateus Reyes confessed he was a sole attacker. You can watch interviews with Oprah Winfrey. You can watch ah. these young man men um, as they've lived their life until this point. It is thought-provoking. It's a must-watch. Um, and then one more thing. I'd be uh, remiss to say, last but not least, but 
on the list of the greatest films of all time. You will often see this movie. Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing. It's a uh, right masterpiece thing, yeah. of the film. Watch it. Um, John Tutoro was nominated for Best uh, Supporting Actor, but I mean, Spike Lee's in it, uh, Danny Aiello, uh, Rosie Perez. It's kind of where we, we first fell in love with Rosie Perez. Um, first, but, yeah. Check out those films. Check out those documentaries and um, learn something and then speak about it. Absolutely. Kara, these are all so good. I wrote them down and we'll make sure we post this list. And, and listen, it, whenever um, it's applicable, we want you, obviously, I want to watch them with my children. I mean, we're talking about this. When um, I was marching the other day in Buckhead, you could hear people explaining to their young children, you know, why this happened. I mean, we are having these conversations and it's it, it's not going away. And that's, that's what I love. Um, we have to ensure that w yeah. this conversation continues and that we do find solutions and it starts with us sitting down and realizing and empathizing with what those who have come before us went through and that's so important and the messages of these movies so important and um, the hate you give yes that actress is phenomenal I had a chance to interview her on Atlanta and company and maybe I'll even see if Trent will um, kind of clip that and post that because um, just such an important message. So thank you, Kara. Thank you so, so yes, much. I appreciate you, you um, and all you're doing to make sure that um, we have the right resources available. So thank you, thank you. And uh, if you have something that you would like to share, again, always message us or tell us about it on our Facebook page.